impact fees are very high and stifle a lot of business opportunity. I believe that we need to lower taxes, lower the tax burden on all citizens and all uh, businesses. And I think we need to step back on the regulations. I'm a very strong proponent of caring for the environment and sustainable living. So we need to find a balance between um, protecting our environment and having regulations in place that actually do something. A lot of uh, observations that one can make is that the regulations don't really work. They're ineffective and they just bring more bureaucracy and more red tape to uh, starting a business. I don't believe that I support that. I do not support that. I do not believe in adding more taxes to, this, to the overburdened uh, citizens already. There's too much regulation, too many taxes, and an uh, entertainment tax is, is not needed right now. We're in very serious economic times. People need jobs. They need family wage jobs, and uh, they need work that provides them with insurance coverage. I think uh, transit priority, sig signal priority is a, is a okay method if it works. I don't think we should tax the citizens to provide <clears throat> mass transit for a small amount of people. And this issue has been brought up to Clark County voters several times in the past. Personally, I do uh, like the light rail, I like the transit system. I've used it when commuting to Portland for work and I thought it was fantastic. It shouldn't be a tax burden on the citizens to support something that uh, doesn't pay for itself and, and when you see buses going around with one person on them it makes me wonder how many people are actually using it. Perhaps there's a better method or a more uh, efficient, cost-effective way to, to uh, handle this. Uh, transit. We do need transit for people that, that uh, have no other means of getting around. So I, I like the idea. I don't think it should be a burden on the taxpayers. The investment in uh, more fuel efficient buses at one mile more per gallon does not sound like it's a uh, cost effective measure. So I would be a little reserved on that. I, one of the main things that I think we need is we need to listen to the voters and we need to have the voters input on some of these major issues. This is a hot topic, people are concerned about it, people want to be involved and they want the truth. They want one version of the truth and they want open and transparent government. So where our tax dollars are being used, we want to know in short form, not have to dig for it, not have to look for what's going on. I think that applies to CTRAN, anyone that's getting government funding needs to be open and transparent and the information needs to be easily accessible. As far as the CRC being uh, approved on the impact statement and bringing light rail into Clark County, that needs to go um, to vote. The public has voted on it in the past and have continually voted down light rail because of the cost and the value added by light rail. The Columbia River crossing is way over budget and it's been going on for quite some time. Um, these are tough economic times. 
and that is a huge expense and burden to the taxpayers. I like light rail. I use Portland's light rail uh, transit system. I've used Clark County's bus system and it's fantastic. We need to be careful about how we spend our money right now. We're in a, a, a terrible recession. So to me, that needs to go to vote. The 205 bridge opened up a, a lot of access to the East County area and it made commuting uh, much easier to Portland and from Portland to Vancouver. I would support a bridge at 192nd and believe that would be a, a viable option for uh, increasing the traffic flow. I don't believe it would uh, cause an undue burden on urban sprawl. We, we need growth, so it's a delicate balance between growth and keeping uh, urban sprawl to a minimum. We need to protect our farmlands and we need to protect our environment. And so as we continue to grow, we're going to have to uh, live in a denser community. I believe we have to be very careful about spending money and raising taxes right now. We see inflation is, is skyrocketing. Every, the cost of everything is going up and the availability for jobs is not growing. People are not making enough money as it is. They don't have health insurance and we need to curb the taxation on the people and we need to uh, encourage small business development and lessen regulation on uh, the small businessmen. Well, in closing comments, I would like to encourage you to vote for open and transparent government. We need to have uh, information available in a timely manner so citizens can be involved and get one version of the truth in a timely manner. I think there's a lot that can be done to uh, encourage the citizen participation in government. And one of the things that discourages it is not being able to find accurate information. When you go to the websites and you look for recordings of council meetings to see how people reacted and what was actually said instead of what is typed in the minutes, you get a better sense of what actually is going on and who, uh, who your leaders are. In, uh, so I, I really strongly encourage people to vote for and push for open and transparent government, accountability, and ethics. <laughs>